If you've downloaded the 2014.2 update for Adobe Muse, you've probably discovered that you can now import and work with SVG files, but there's another new feature that we got that I am really excited about. It's actually a feature that I requested from the developers at Adobe. Uh, I reached out to them on the developer forums and made this request a good long while ago and uh, my ego wants to tell me that they implemented it because of me although that's probably not true. Uh, but the idea is I was building this exact website here for Vision Art Collective and uh, we wanted to set them up with a phone version, a mobile version, uh, along with the desktop version. And that meant that we had plenty of content that I had to put in two places. I had to create text boxes on the mobile version, I had to create text boxes on the desktop version. They were supposed to say the same things and I thought it was kind of silly that I had to copy and paste everything several times and if we made a change to any of the text like this welcome text here on the home page, I had to change it here and then I had to go to the mobile version and change it again. I thought of that as a problem and I said hey wouldn't it be great if we could have text boxes synchronized with one another and sure enough that is one of the new features that we got in this update. So with this, the way it works is we've got a new panel in Adobe Muse, and that's the content panel. If you don't see the content panel, you can visit the window menu, and you can look for content. And when you click on that, you'll see a panel that looks like this. Now the way this works is it kind of breaks down into a hierarchy, uh, so that way you can stay organized. So here where it says the word collection, uh, collection would be uh, sort of like a folder where you can put uh, text boxes. So I'm going to call this collection home page content. You can call it homepage stuff, you can call it whatever you want as long as you remember uh, what you're putting inside of here. So I'm just going to title that homepage content. And now I'm going to add a, a container of text, in this case this text box right here. So you want to make sure that this text box is selected or whichever text box that you're working with and then uh, you, you come to the content panel and look for the plus sign and that adds what's called a tag. So you click and it says that it's going to save the text content, but it doesn't save the formatting, uh, which, which is honestly wonderful because you're probably going to use a different font size. You may even end up using a different color uh, in your mobile version or on the other pages where this text appears. So it's saving the, the content itself, and I get to name that content. So I'm going to say um, home welcome text. So now I've got my home welcome text saved as one of these content tags. Now the idea is that I can go to another text box or another page and I'm going to do so by finding the phone version of this home page. And here is the corresponding text box. Now this text box could be filled in already, it could be blank. The idea is that it doesn't matter. You've got the content saved on the content panel so it really doesn't matter. And now by selecting this text box here, the destination text box so to speak, I can click on my tag for the home welcome text and click OK and it now applies that text to that text box which means they are now synced up with one another. I've linked both text boxes to the same content and now if I make a change to the content that change will take place in both places. So if the client calls me up and says hey see where it says established in 2013 we were actually established in 2014 technically then I could go in and I can make that change though they were established in 2013. Just for the sake of example, I'm going to change this to established 2014, and now I'm going to go back to the desktop version of the home page, and you'll see it now says established 2014. If they call me up and say, you know what, we made a mistake again, it was actually 2012, I can go and switch it to 2012, and when I go back and visit phone, it shows established 2012. So by using this feature, you can carry over content from page to page. The content will match. The formatting, on the other hand, is completely flexible. The formatting does not have to match. And uh, you can use paragraph styles or, or just completely freehand uh, the formatting to accomplish that. Uh, but the content, the content panel itself and being able to save and link content between text boxes will make designing mobile and tablet versions of websites far, far less tedious. And... Uh, I think it's a really phenomenal feature that you guys will be stoked about. So hopefully you guys have already subscribed. If you haven't already, please do so because I will have more cool stuff coming soon. That pretty much covers it for the update, but I do have a couple of projects that I'm going to share with you guys pretty soon that will be super sweet. So please subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.